Michael? It's called colostrum. It's also known as four milk. And we're through with our first round. Easy questions. In the lead, Michael Ambach of UP Los Banos, 1,200 in second place. An interesting matchup. Uh, PUP is first of all in June from TIP Manila. And Marvin, you have no score yet. But don't you worry, Marvin. One more round is coming up right after this one. Okay, it's time for round number two. Difficult questions. And this time, 600 pesos for every correct answer. Let's begin with a question in general information. What do you call the forms of life on the ocean floor, including sponges? Michael? Sponges. Time is up. Percival? Uh, Bentic. I'll give you a chance. Bentos. Yes, Bentos is correct. <laughs> Perhaps Benthic life, but Bentos is the correct answer. Mathematics. What expression gives the area of an equilateral triangle whose side is X? June. We'll have to check uh, on June's buzzer. We haven't been hearing his buzzer, though. Louis Light has been lighting up. Yes, June. I is equal to X squared is square root of 3 all over... Uh, square root of 4, uh, square root of 3 all over 2. Over 4. Okay, June, I'm a little confused with your answers. I'll give you one last chance. Give it to me right now in two seconds. One. Area is equal to x squared is square root of two all over four. Wrong. First of all, the area is equal to x cubed. Wrong. Marvin? Square root of three x squared over two. Wrong. Michael, you can take your time. No answer for Michael. The answer, June, it was somewhere there in one of your answers. But since you had so many answers, I had to ask you for one final answer. Your first answer was actually correct x squared times the square root of 3 all over 4. We go to our next question, the arts. Who composed the melody? The melody of Tahil Sayo. Michael? The melody, the music. <laughs> yes, first of all. George Canseco. That's not correct. Marvin? Will Cruz. Really close, no? This is a hard question. Miguel Velarde Jr. Next question is in science. What do you call the instrument used in surveying for the measurement of angles? June again. Uh, June, you can press that buzzer lightly. Also, I think that's the problem, June. When you press it too hard, the light comes out, but no sound. If you press it just gently, let's see, gently. Uh, but, can you test your buzzer? There, that's the way to do it. Now we have a sound. Your answer? Transit. Wrong. <laughs> what do you call the instrument used in surveying for the measurement of angles, first of all? The sextant. No, it consists essentially of a telescope moving along a circular scale graduated in degrees. Marvin. Refractor. No. It's called a theodolite. History. What major battle in 1346 resulted in victory for the English in the first decade of the Hundred Years' War against the French? First of all, the Battle of Crecy. Yes, the Battle of Crecy. <laughs> and now, first of all, you are in the lead with 2,000 points. We still have a lot of questions left. So, Michael, Recto, and Marvin, come on. General information. What do you call the governor of a country or province who rules as a representative of a king? A European king. First of all? A viceroy. Yes, a viceroy. That is correct. We go to mathematics. What is the second derivative of y if y is equal to 3x4, or rather, sorry, let me correct that. Take this down. What is the second derivative of y if y is equal to 3x raised to the 4 minus 5x cubed plus... Marvin, you'll have to answer even if I'm not through yet. 36x squared. Wrong. Let me finish. The value of y is 3x raised to the 4 minus 5x cubed, 3x squared minus 2. What is the second derivative of that? June. Uh, 36x squared. y double prime is equal to 36x squared 
You Ma are wrong. Michael? 36x squared plus 10x. That is also wrong. Percival? 36x squared minus 90x plus x. Once again. Ah. 30, 36x squared minus 90x plus... No. She said 6 earlier? No. Actually, that is wrong. The answer is 36x squared minus 30x plus 6. And we're down for three last questions, 500 points each. Anyone can still take this. Of course, Marvin, only you will have to challenge the rest now to take home the money. The Arts. What novel by Friedrich Schiller did Rizal translate? Percival? The Ode to Freedom. No. That was Beethoven who used that. What novel by Friedrich Schiller did Rizal translate into Tagalog? It was William Tell, science. What do you call the reduction in the energy of a gamma ray or X-ray photon as a result of its interaction? First of all, Compton effects. Compton effect. Okay, interaction with a free electron, Compton effect is the answer. And the last question in history, what was the revolutionary movement led by Fidel Castro which overthrew the regime of Batista? June? Uh, the Falange. That's not correct, that's in Spain. What was the revolutionary movement led by Fidel Castro, which overthrew the regime of Fulgencio Batista? Here's a clue. It was on the same day that he was overthrown. Or when they began. Sorry, when they began. It was the 26th of July movement. And our champion, Percival, the Adona of PUP with 3,200. Michael will take over 1,200 pesos. June 800 and Marvin, thank you very much for coming along. First of all, stay where you are, we'll have your bonus round after this one. This question was brought to himself in the quarterfinals next year, but in the meantime, he will have to grapple with these questions in the bonus round. This is just a bonus round, nothing at stake here except money. You have 3,200 already, that's a lot of money, you can take home even much more. Now, choose one of the categories, please. Can we have the categories for him to look at? You have December Affair. Next is Gandhi. If you like the life of Gandhi, you can choose that. Ibong Adarna is a third. That's, you know, if you like that too, you can choose that. So Gandhi, December Affair, and Ibong Adarna. Uh, I'll take December Affair. December Affair. Now, these have to do with affairs, events, activities, which usually happen in December. That should be easy. First of all, are you ready? Let's go. Niños Inocentes. When is that? December 30. Year and date of the longest coup attempt during Aquino administration? December 1, 1989. Declaration of Manila as open city? Pass. Oh, these are hard after all. Signing of the Treaty of Paris? Pass, pass. Battle of Pirad Pass? Pass. Doña Paz tragedy? The year at least. These are too hard. The year? Uh, 1989. 87. Rizal, okay, Rizal Day. Uh, when was Rizal? December 31. Rizal Day? December 30. Start of European 12 days of Christmas. Mm. December 13. Immaculate Conception, the feast. December 8. Okay, Tirad Pass, the year. 1898. Treaty of Paris, the year. 1898. Declaration of Manila as open city, the day, because we know the year, of course. 19. Uh, oh, the day. Uh, December 26th. Um, Treaty of Paris was December 10, 1898. I asked for the year. Okay, we will accept that. And Battle of Pirad Pass, December 3, 1900. You said 1898. That is wrong. Now, the other questions. Niños Innocentes is December 28th. Year and date of the longest coup attempt, December 1, 18, 19, 1989, rather. That is correct. Doña Paz tragedy, the year I asked, you said 87. That is correct. Chris, well, Rizal Day is December 30. Not 31, 30, so you correct yourself, that's correct. Start of the European 12 days of Christmas starts on Christmas Day, December 25. And the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, the 8, 5 out of 9, not bad at all. Why? Because that's still 3,000, plus 3,200. You will take home for your post-Christmas shopping, 6,200 pounds. And best of all, I know you want to reach the quarterly final, and you will get there. Congratulations. We'll have the Mind Master portion right after the break, so don't go away. Is brought to you by...